Hello everyone, I'm back at it again, doing my um, contracting kitchen renovation work here. Whew. Um, this is what I did. I used the galvanized flange pipes and I screwed it in and I screwed that in there. And I screwed it in there and it's just mounted here. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to get a small clamp. They have these little metal clamps that you can hook on. So I'm going to put a clamp here, a clamp here, and a clamp there. This is screwed in. And this OSB, Oriental Striated Board, uh, is going to be covered up. I'm going to cut a piece of the underlayment that I have. Here's the underlayment. I'm going to cut this piece and I'm going to cut it the same exact size as um, that OSB and then just glue it on and clamp it. And then from there, I will then paint the OSB. And um, well, after I paint it, the OSB will match the color of the tub or marble backsplash. So this I did all on my own. All of my little lonesome self. And, well, I'm very proud of myself. Now for over here, I'm going to put a small shelf. I have um, the brackets to put up. I have these brackets here. And I trimmed around this. i got to take the paint off um, and the, the tape. And, you know, making a lot of progress here. And for here, I took out the brackets. And I'm going to use that... Um, the other pieces of pipe that I have, this one, these pipe pieces right here, and um, I gotta cut the wood. I have the wood cut already, so I'm gonna put. It's gotta go here. It's, I'm gonna have to go here. Yeah, here. I gotta figure it out. I'll work it out, or I can even put it like that. I could do it that way. I could do it whichever way I choose to do it. So, yeah, because I think the studs are here. Oh, and that, that might present a problem because I have the refrigerator right next to this counter space here. But I'll figure it out. And for up here, I'm going to have the floor underlayment up here. I'm going to have it cut, have the pieces cut to um to go right there because that this was all covered up from when i had the cabinets so you couldn't see any of that um because the cabinets went up that high so uh you know it was invisible but now now it's visible and it looks pretty uh, it doesn't look too good i'm not really impressed but you know slow but steady and for this i well i haven't watched that youtube video yet i will get there one thing at a time doing all this on my own so oh and i gotta get the snake to clean out that clogged sink oh good god i got the snake downstairs so slow but steady making progress though it's coming together all good all good all good nice and slow slow and steady getting there getting there i gotta tighten up the doors here tighten these doors tighten this up i still have to notch that out oh a whole lot, a whole lot to do. But doing it, doing it, and doing it. I'll get there. No rush. No rush. Not a biggie. Not a big deal. Everything takes time. Okay, everybody, stay safe and healthy and, um, you know, social distancing. That's it. And uh, it's called coronavirus. Not what uh, the... The uh, Mr. President is calling it. It's coronavirus. Corona COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. Unreal. Unreal. I think anybody who supports this president, you know something. God bless you, because if you support this president, you know something. Um, I pray for you. That's all I have to say. Because I think he is just so far beyond any level of comprehension of decency as a human being. 
he's just someone that I really, really, I just like. I just like. It's shameful that someone who is the leader of the free world goes around and speaks like this about races of people. Mm -hmm. So what he is in, initiating and inciting is going to be another attack by some extremist group. That's what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. So like we don't have enough going on with coronavirus affecting everybody across the globe. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Luckily there'll be election an election coming up. Okay, everybody, peace and blessings. Peace, signing off, blue collar housewife. Keeping it real, homies, keeping it real.